call the meeting to order at 6.09. So I don't know. Um, it doesn't strike me as a heck of a lot to talk about. APR <laughs> updates. The Ashman APR closed. Did it? Okay, it did. Great. I and know. They're, and they're getting money from the C, uh, CPA and all that? Yes, it's all so old, I can't even remember. But yes, they're getting money from the CPA. They're getting money from the state. They got a little money from an individual donor through Kestrel, uh, which was just somebody who felt sorry for them because the, the APRs take so long right now that the 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 value changes, they have to reserve, you know, reassess it. And often when they reassess it, it's worth more. So in theoretical terms, you should be able to get more, but the state won't change what they're going to give you. It, 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 yeah, I had that same thing when we did a, a conservation restriction. Yeah. I mean, it's all a and little you have arbitrary. To go, it's sort of like, but, you know, that it's ridiculous. Anyway, they had a kind neighbor who kicked in a little to help close that gap. Hmm. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> I've been trying to, I know, I, I believe the Galinsky spot. Yes, I saw they, that. They, I think that closed. Yeah. It took them a while because I guess Jimmy's ex-wife was still on the deed. Oh. oh. So okay. they had to take, that's why they took a little while longer than normal. Yeah. But I think I think that closed, and I don't know what their intention are intentions are for APR. And well, Galinsky's got the other piece too. They said so that went through. I thought I saw that. I thought John Byshevsky. No, no, the the, all the 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 main farm. John got that. Yeah. And then the Galinsky's got the other the, right where the packing ship is. Right? Okay. So, yes. So yeah. both of them, I think, are done. Yeah, I think yeah. they're both a transaction. I, I and I have been trying to bump into John, and I have not been successful, but um, I believe he is going to pursue APR. Mm, okay, great. Yeah. I, I see Justin and Jonathan quite a bit. Yeah. I can sit down to see if they, what they're up to on that piece of property. Yeah, I yeah. mean, if... Well, yeah. I think, you know, they got kids that are interested in farming, too, so, I mean, they're young. But they Land know. they bought from, uh, you know, Karis was on APR, too. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, if any of you see them and want to tell them that i mean certainly that we can help get the town money but if you know if they want any help with the regular application I, i'd be happy to help with that okay somebody told me and it is just rumor that the application is in for okay. the home farm okay I, not a guarantee by any means but i think the intention is, oh, right. is api all right i'll check with um michelle padula at MDAR. Okay. And is it if information about, you know, a bridge loan or something like that would be available at CESA? Yeah. I mean, I would, um, I would be happy to look into that lately. You know, I feel like people that hasn't been as common for the land trusts to help with that, but especially now they're taking so long. Yeah. I would be happy to help. I, I don't know what the options are, but I'd be happy to try to find out. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, I think I did hear, just hear from one of the land trusts that they're expecting a, a, a lot of money for conservation um, for reasons that I don't totally, I don't know whether it was in the Inflation Reduction Act or I don't quite know where the oh. money coming from i mean the government but i don't know more specifically than that so it could be that that makes them much more willing to do that kind of thing i i just don't know mm -hmm. right right okay so with that conservation easement what's that do you put your land in a conservation you can't do nothing with it or i think those easements are written in a particular way you know whether it's the use of the land or because we lost a lot of land because of the beavers they flooded everything oh. made a swamp i you know there's the ducks are in there now there's a moose in there oh. <laughs> you know so, where, where is it where where is this so what, what, in, in what west way there your yeah. Oh. yeah moose in there at your home yeah behind, up yeah. behind the house yeah. wow. 
this on the lower where that brook you see that brook going underneath the culvert yeah. there. That used to be a, a regular brook until the beaver got in there mm-hmm. and dammed it all up. Mm-hmm. We had a rhubarb field right next to it. Yeah. Flooded the whole field and we lost mm-hmm. the field. Oh, it kept on breaking the dams, but it was fused, you know. No, no, not with, not against those guys. You, know, you can <laughs> see all the dead trees all on the side mm-hmm. of the banks going all the way up. But you know, now the beavers moved out. The dams are still there, uh, but it's still uh, yeah. a pond almost, or where the ducks are in there and the geese are in there, and the, the blue herons are in there right uh, now. Now there's yeah. moose and everything else. Now you got a little wildlife. Yeah, yeah. yeah. wildlife. Fence, 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 fence How long ago tickets. did you? Um, yeah. <laughs> How long ago were you growing rhubarb on it? Oh, maybe uh, ten years ago we ended up stopping. Twelve years ago, right? And the beavers came. I don't know the rules about that, but like Scott Jackson would know, you know, what, because you do have more flexibility when it's been in agricultural use to. Oh, it's still, we still have part of the field. Uh, we, the rhubarb died and the beavers moved out uh, and we had it as organic anyways, uh-huh. rhubarb, and it's still certified as organic. We still keep it in the program as organic mm-hmm. if we ever want to plant anything out there, raise anything out there. Would you like to turn it back into field, or would you like to sell a conservation easement and get some money? I don't. And, well, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if that's an option. But you, you know, right now we got the problem with the deer and the wildlife so bad that you, if you put deer anything out leaves. there, they're going to wipe you out. Uh huh. The deer will go after rhubarb. No, if I put like squash out there, oh, yeah, 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 we yeah. when we first bought the farm, we plowed it up and we put you know squash out there. Then we had corn out there. Mm-hmm. Of course, the deer got into the squash, so I will put field corn out there for the cows. And that was good for a couple of years. <laughs> and then that's what we planted the rhubarb. My brother was working at Norris. They had a bunch of number two rhubarb. We planted rhubarb <laughs> out there. Nothing bothers it. That's why we put it out there. Mm-hmm. Oh. We still have three acres in the upper pasture. It's rhubarb, you know. That's the reason we put rhubarb up there, because the wildlife. Nothing bothers it. Yeah. <laughs> Better tomatoes, right? Yeah. Um, well, I might be the only field I heard that flooded last year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is <laughs> um, Okay, so I guess that brings us to, I know John suggested that, I don't know if we have to do it annually or what, but election of officers, which... Um, I think I am the president and the secretary right now. Do you like the motion? Keep the same office. <laughs> <laughs> I would happily vote for somebody else, but if you're happy with this train wreck that I'm managing, I'm with it. Yeah, I, I will doing keep great, doing it. But it doesn't. Seem, I mean, is it all right with you to do both? It's or? it's all right. I mean, it's not. It's still conflict of interest. I know that. <laughs> it doesn't sound like <laughs> well, there's a lot of conflict of interest. <laughs> All right, so I don't know exactly how we're supposed to do it, but I suspect someone has to nominate or like motion that I we mean, leave it. to keep the same officers. I uh, second as it. Prep. Okay, and everybody is in favor. Yes. Sorry. Right. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, any unforeseen matters that uh, are we any- uh, getting our usual budget, which we don't spend, and we did use it. A number of years ago, when, when we did that uh, map, that was a long time ago. Well, the map, well, the uh, some printing oh, for the ag oh, yeah. yeah. I was just like different towns. You're going to Williamsburg or something. You'll see a sign right there. When entering Williamsburg, then it says right to uh, farm. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and I think Hadley has it too. You know, right to farm. This is our right to farm uh, community. You know. And I guess Waitley, Waitley is a right. Well, Waitley is a right. Yes. We just have yeah. it. Yeah, we don't have the sign yet. Yeah, because, because I know we used to be in the annual report at the end of the annual report. I remember because that's when Johnny was the uh, secretary and he did when you got your annual report, to, you know, the, the good old catalog there. On the bottom it was a paragraph saying. Yeah, that was a report. standard. Boilerplate, right? Anymore. But that was, you know, that we were, yeah. Right there. I think we have community we do that just so it could still be in there, but they don't bring you a report anymore. So no, nobody reads it, probably. 
<laughs> everything is all It was a good report. You, know, you could see everything. It was nice right. when they delivered it to your house. I like that. <clears throat> um, so is that, I wonder if, is that something you think we ought to try to get some signs up? I don't know. I, I would, you know, you'd be entering Waitley saying, you know, this is a right to farm community or something. Just to yeah. let people you know. You decide where you put them up, probably. Yeah. Paytonville Road on the Winswick side. Yeah. Some place coming out of probably five and 10 going up to the center or somewhere. Or, yeah. Yeah. Or even on River Road, you know, where most travel, but I would think going up, everybody goes to the center. You know, we're getting a lot of traffic coming from New York that way now. A lot of traffic out of New York is coming through mm -hmm. us. Oh, they cut up that the way and they go up back roads up and do uh, Mount, Mount Snow skiing, right? Probably. Hmm. You go back roads up there through coal rain and everything. Right. Yeah, I just directly there. You know, you got to set up. It's faster than 91. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, so maybe I could look into if it's possible to use some of our budget. And see what the signs cost. Yeah, because I know that I went up to the Bacon's when I was coming back from there. Right. I could see the saw the sign. It says, you know, it's a nice little sign. It's not huge, but yeah, uh, there must be somebody must have already made them. Right, and maybe ask Williamsburg where they got theirs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, does it say it says Williamsburg on the sign? Yeah. Okay, so it's printed. I would just scratch it out. Right? <laughs> you know, we just <laughs> what's, what's like every cake. Well, it has a W on it. Yeah. <laughs> I think they have like fractal on it or building. Yeah. Or Let's get some tools and go uh, <laughs> put the milk bottle on. I, actually, we could just turn it around. Yeah, you could. <laughs> yeah, um, could. All right. I will. I will investigate that. Yeah, something for the highway department to put in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The state just opened up the food security infrastructure grants. They're due on March 2nd. So I, it seems to me there might be a lot of applicants. So I don't know how. The what infrastructure grants? Food security oh, infrastructure food grant. Security. They did them in 20. This is the maybe the fourth time they've done them. They started them during the pandemic, but mm -hmm. they it's an unusual grant because it will pay for equipment for farms. It will pay for trucks. It will pay for building the paper wash and pack stations um which you know mostly people don't give grants to businesses so it's it's pretty unusual it's not too complicated an application i feel like it's really hard to say what the odds are um but if you either you or someone you know has something in mind you do have to have some some you have to do some legwork to get quotes for what the work's going to cost but they, the other problem, problem or a problem with these grants was that they often had a really tight turnaround and they've actually stretched that out this year. So they're going to start probably in the beginning of July of this year and, and go for a whole year until the end of the next state fiscal year. So there won't be this, there should be a little less pressure around supply chains and stuff oh. to get things done. So is that on um, MR? Yeah. If you, if you Google... Like MDAR FSIG, you'll get it. But if you get stuck, call me and I'll I can point you to the right place. It, it just came out. And yeah, if you because um, was asking about that as you know, about grants or something. I don't know. Could the PVGA use that to get the the coolers hung? The that is a really good question. I don't know. Um, they're they're, the problem with that is that they you they got a grant from the state to to buy and install those coolers. And they're not the only ones that are in this bind because the price of everything went crazy. Yeah. So I'm I'm hoping that they can figure out ex exactly, like what did they, what exactly did they say they were gonna do last time? And is there anything that you need to do that isn't quite the way it was described right. that you could say it's slightly different words and hope that they wouldn't notice, but okay. I'm saying right, anyway, I don't know. But I think they should try. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And we, if you, if anybody, you or anyone you know <clears throat> wants to write one and you'd like somebody to look at a draft, we are happy to do that at CISA or to talk through a project and help someone so if prioritize. One more, it, uh, email you or, yeah. or go to CISA. 
either one. Yeah. But she was asking. Yeah, I know there were irrigation pumps bought and buildings built and uh, reef, right. reefer trucks. Yeah. yeah. What's what's going on? In what um, Pioneer Valley? They they uh, you, you got something and it wasn't installed. Is that what the deal? Dave is? probably knows more about it, but they yeah. they built a cooler, built a cooler, but then all of a sudden all these building supplies, everything went up. Metal, lumber went up. So that the grant was for a hundred thousand. All the building supplies were up, uh, like cost one hundred and fifty thousand to build it, and they ran out of money in order to uh, to put the coolers in, oh. and, uh, the compressors, they and they're there. They're, they're still, there. They yeah, they're there. They're in the building. Installed. Yeah, yeah they, huh. they're just gonna be installed. I mean, they they've got enough money to put the lights in and electricity's in there, but they gotta have something like art. So this whole in. building is just not useful because there's no. Coolers, right? I mean, you could need storage wise. I mean, yeah, right. certain temperatures, and I know they put butternut squash in there, and you know, the early fall and stuff, but you know, now it's you know, it's too cold or nothing, you know. Yeah, is there any there. idea what it would cost to install it? It's about yeah. 50 G's, right? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I think so. That's what I heard. Yeah, <clears throat> nothing's cheap. I mean, like I said, that everything's there. I don't, you know, of course, you're gonna. Pitch everything up and put the cooling stuff in. You know, right. it's expensive. You know, yeah, ten bucks a pound for Freon. Yeah, you know, they're just working on it, I guess. Yeah, well, that's good to know and hear about. Um, I don't know if anybody's got anything else. Um, we could think about the next meeting time. Um, I vote for the minutes from last time. Oh, right. Minutes from last time. Did everyone look at them? Anyone care? Yeah, I voted yeah. today. Okay. I wasn't able to pick up the game. Wait, well, sorry. Right. I know. Wait, what do you say? Was I motion that we yeah. I that we <laughs> accept the minutes. minutes. Second. Second. Now you're supposed to say any any additions, deletions, or anything. Okay. All those fair, right? Okay. Anyone opposed? <laughs> Oh, I was just going to write minutes were accepted anonymously, <laughs> unanimous. <laughs> we all get under the table. <laughs> Raise our hands. Um, how does is this? This is the fourth Tuesday, I think. Twenty fourth. It must be yeah. the fourth Tuesday, right? Yeah. Yeah. At six o'clock, I think the assessors are meeting right. in the conference room. So it's kind of nice because Amy's here or Brian's here. Oh, so yeah. Who was that? It was just in here earlier. That's Amy. Amy. Uh, oh, right. Trader? No. That sounds right. Yeah. She's a tax collector as well. Yeah. Or no. No, that's oh. um, somebody else. Cynthia. Amy too. Amy Lavalley works here too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Keep out there. <laughs> so I don't know. This might not be a bad time to yeah, meet. Fourth Tuesday works for me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So at least for now, you know. I mean, yeah. I'm, you know, April, May, maybe a little different. <laughs> well, usually <laughs> around, 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 around that time, we sort of like yeah. put things off for a few months anyway. Yeah, it's, right. it's not like I, issues and things are sort of burning. No. Like, we don't have somebody trying to uh, say they were a chicken farm when they really weren't. That's the old days. You missed that. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> you too. Yeah. I don't. Uh, that wasn't the ostrich farm, was it? Huh? That wasn't the ostrich farm, was it? Ostrich farm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right oh. there in River Road. Right. Airport, right across right. from just north of Norris. Yeah. Dave Jackson here. Oh, there's there's a guy in there right. raising ostriches. They get out of their oh. enclosure all the time. I was, <laughs> I was farming all of my eskies behind his house at the time. And, There'd be ostriches walking around the field. I mean, and they're eight feet tall. It's, you know, <laughs> pretty mean. Oh yeah, <laughs> they like, run like hell too. Yeah, you would see yeah. these turkey we're, turkey we're, tracks we're, like this in the field. <laughs> <laughs> What's the mess of that? <laughs> That's crazy. That was pretty grim over there. <clears throat> All right. Well, so. I will secure another meeting for March, whatever the fourth Tuesday is at six o'clock. February. February. Yeah. <laughs>
All right. And for Tuesday. And we don't have to worry about somebody with a key because they're at their meeting. Exactly. Right? And, and yeah. they're here to support that meeting. If we have a problem with this, they're here. And uh, yeah. yeah, no, it's, I think it'll work. So good. fourth Tuesday in February would be the uh, 28th, I think. 28th, yeah. Oh. 220. Okay, that. Yeah, that's fine. I'll be here. <laughs> Weather permitting. Weather permitting, right? Weather's coming. Can't be an old-fashioned snow. It's gonna rain. I know. She do last nice. year all that dry weather. What? A, what did you, oh, you forget about it already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for the most part, you know, we had some problems, you know, but it wasn't too critical. Yeah. You know, they you know, some things like cukes and did pretty good. That's good. Well, Disease pressure was yeah less was, of an issue. You know, the downy mildew was bad. That's really yeah. Bad. That was I had that like it must have been in June when yeah. it came in because I didn't notice it right away. Like, What's going on? I, just, I, they, I don't know. They, they said it came out of Canada this year. It usually yeah. comes from the south, mm -hmm. and we had all that wind out of the north this year, yeah. and all those greenhouses or something. They said they blew it down. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. I was looking, picking two places. Yeah. It looked like Downy Mill. I turned over the leaves yeah. or all the spots. Yeah. I was, well, I had an older cucumber because that's the only ones we could get for organic yeah, and treated. There's nothing but, really that good out there. You know, I mean, you got minor resistance, but it's so aggressive. Yeah. For Downy Mill. I, I think this 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 strain that we came early to, it, we had the rain where the, the plants weren't getting stressed out being dry. I think it, it you know, because it looked like it, it they were still producing yeah. it just a matter of It doesn't work. spread as fast when the right. when the, the lines are dry. Yes. Especially when you're going through the field, you know. Yeah, every day. Yeah. Spreading yeah. it around. Yeah. That's why I have I have my guys that use disposable gloves <coughs> every day. We go in the earth yeah, we use the field. Gloves all, all the time. I just try to they they didn't mind, you know. <laughs> I got some you know, friends that are really good. work gloves from Collins, you know. Yeah. And uh, Worked. Yeah, we use the same as a few. Nothing yeah. much you can do. And yeah, the vinyl is the best. You know, they don't get that. Yeah, we saw it in collards. Yeah. Yeah. in collards. It never took off, but it was there. And it was nothing we couldn't pick around, but it was it just, it's again, again, you're kind of like, that can't be downy. Yeah, right. I know. That's what I said. I can't be yeah. I said I thought it was some. I thought it was like trash nose or something. Yeah, because there's a leaf spot or something. I said, "Oh." The Jamie Backness has asked me how I was making out with that downy mildew. Oh, okay, that's what it is. <laughs> I have that problem. <laughs> but it never got into the basil in the greenhouse early. I think yeah, it must just varieties, stay enough. The varieties of basil are pretty decent. Getting better, yeah. Yeah, they definitely. Definitely hold up you know, for what we want, you know, and if they get us to September, then they'll start getting yeah. a little bit, but it takes a while. And they got better ones coming out too, I guess. Yeah. But I understand. You know. Johnny's supposed to have a cucumber, pickling cucumber. It's supposed to be really resistant to the downy mildew. Yeah, what's that? It's a uh, chaperone. Yeah. They didn't get any seed. They couldn't get it. Uh, so they don't have it? No, uh, the Stokes has it, but it's treated. And I got some coming from them, so. Yeah, I can't use that. But I think that was their problem. They, if they, they, they was only available to, uh, you know, treated. So they, they backed out of it. I think that's the way it is. I don't know how much better it is. I know UMass thought it was okay. Better than yeah, at all? Yeah, yeah. I guess. I guess you'd have to ask them. Right now. Yeah. We had good problems. So yeah. You can still get that one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think I don't. Maybe you can get it out through Johnny's because they gave up on the Citadel because they were to get this scene, though. Maybe right. they'll have it. Yeah. Right, untreated. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I'll motion to adjourn at 634. Minimum time period for these meetings? We have the, this, we're, can stay till eight if we want. <laughs> Um, I think that's when we time out. <laughs> um, how does does everyone want to keep meeting in person? Yeah, okay, sure, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, you know, the Zoom didn't always work out for me. You know, sometimes I, I just couldn't get it. Now, 
I do Zoom with another group, and it always works out. So, <laughs> Amy today here said that there have been problems with the town's mm. account. We're not the only ones who have oh, had. I mean, I got in once. I, I was on on the phone. You know, I could hear what everybody said. I couldn't see anybody. Yeah. Okay. Well, good to uh, see y'all. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We have our email address. Yeah. Yeah. Your, your email. I think I do have. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, this way, then I'll throw you up. Or or even a bigger email. one. Oh, that works to remember. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, so I was told to just close this thing and we're done.